Capricorn. Hey, Capricorn. Welcome to Two Hearts, One Soul. 1111. Fairly new on YouTube. Um, this is for... I was doing a, a second half of June reading, 16th through the 31st. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell if you if you wish. Okay, let's get started. I've already prayed, 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 and blessed the cards. So here we go. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second half of June. Four of Swords. Maybe you guys are coming out of healing from um, our, our time of rest and, and just re um, going over things that may have happened in the past. Capricorn. It could have been uh, in regards to like toxic friends or something like that. Yeah. Seven of Swords popped out as I was saying that. Um, Maybe you guys had um, a couple friends or something like that or a relationship that was um, and you found out about some betrayal. But I feel like that this is in the past, um, especially this relationship. And you guys are just you, you're either healing or at the second half of June, you will be coming out of healing and maybe just closing this chapter. Let's see what else we can get. Three of Wands. food card I feel like this uh, you're just moving away from anything that's toxic just going towards something new building a new life for yourself um, you guys may have been waiting waiting on um, someone or somebody or just um, taking some time out and now you're just waiting for I think you guys are going into like some type of a new business adventure and you guys are kind of just waiting for things to start happening for you two of cups just making a choice to, to move away from anybody or anything that you deem toxic a lot of you guys may be just deciding to be single right now um the justice card popped out the world card yeah just completing this cycle the seven of cups and the five of cups I feel like some of you guys maybe were confused about which way to go. Um, as far as this could have been in love connection or in some form of um, like way of life. Just it could be business, friendships, um, just moving forward in life. I think you guys uh, are just making a choice to come out of that confusion. This could be um, also like uh, like self-deception, have a lot of thoughts in your head, um, been thinking a lot about Maybe what people have done to you in the past or like how they deceived you. Um, and you guys are just moving away from that energy. If you guys are still in that energy now, you will be moving away from it soon. And just balancing it out. Um, also, I feel like some of you guys maybe have a love interest that's waiting to contact you. Uh, something that was completely ended, gone. I don't think you guys are going back to this. Um, this may be somebody in the past that may have uh, been deceptive to also friends and families for some of you guys. Let's see, we can clarify it. Let's clarify. Let's see what you're healing from. Let's see. I really think this is just healing from toxic thoughts or feelings like. Four or four of swords for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What four of swords? Please clarify four of swords. Two of Pentacles.
Yeah, healing from maybe someone who, like some farmer, somebody you guys found out maybe was juggling. Maybe you had um, two or more um, people they were pursuing. Some of you could have lived with this person also. And so you guys are kind of healing from that. Um, let's see what else we get. Yeah. Nine of Swords. Or maybe just going back and forth with the way you feel or, or just what went wrong or, you know, some type of worry. I think you guys are healing from, that's what I was thinking in the beginning, just healing from um, just being all in your head about something. Excuse me. Let's see what this Seven of Swords is about. Seven of Swords for Capricorn. The World card in reverse. This person that uh, are these are people that may have deceived you. They may feel like it's not over. Like maybe you just taking some time apart from them. Is what I'm getting. Even though I feel like you completed this cycle you may have been dealing with a fixed sign also someone in your circle may be a fixed sign aries leo taurus scorpio strong aries here could have been a libra you guys were dealing with yeah i think that um you you've moved uh, forth uh moved away from this and maybe just changed your environment but these people uh Maybe they just think you're taking some time out uh, to get things together. I think you're moving more towards business, like your money, finances. Um, yeah, I think that's what you're you're moving towards. But these these people and if this is a relationship, this person just maybe think that you guys are taking a break for some reason and that it's not over. But this cycle is closed. And I think this person is a little confused and think that maybe um they want to come back and commit, but I think I see that you walked away completely. Okay, let's see what this um, let's see what this uh, food card is. I feel like this is just you guys taking uh, starting over, moving away from anything, any negativity. That's what I'm feeling. Let's see, food card. Uh uh. <laughs> yeah, starting over. Maybe just offering yourself. That's what I was feeling like. Some type moving forward, offering yourself that new beginning. Maybe uh, going more towards your finances, work, focusing more on a uh, pentacles um, energy, money. Let's see what you guys are waiting on, or this person is waiting on you. On you. I feel like this person is waiting for you to contact them. But I think you are more waiting, like maybe you're you put in job applications and stuff and you're waiting to hear back for some of you. But for some of you, I think this person is waiting on you. For some of you, you may be waiting to start some type of business adventure. Let's see. Three of Wands. Seven of Wands. Waiting to take action. Um, feel like you feel like you don't fit in with this circle anymore. But these people um, keep coming at you or something like that. Here. Seven of Wands, Three of Wands. Yeah, I think this is somebody you, you blocked that's maybe waiting for you to contact them. <laughs> Eight of Cups popped out. Yeah. Somebody you may have walked away from. I feel like this person, you may have walked away from them and blocked them. Um, deciding to go your own way. Wow, that's exactly what I kind of was feeling. And this person is waiting for you to contact them for some reason. This could be someone who feel like you guys were meant to be together. And that you guys are kind of just like going through something at the moment. But I'm getting, some of you may want to go back to this relationship but for most of you i'm feeling like it's it's completely like you, you've like whatever they did you guys are not going back to it you guys are moving forward 
focusing more on yourself, focusing more on work is what I'm getting. I think this person, um, I think whatever they did, you guys, you felt like it wasn't right. But to balance it out, you guys just walked away like I'm, I'm completely done is what I'm getting. Hmm. Let's see with this two of cups. Let's clarify though. Two of cups for Capricorn, second half of June. The Emperor. Making a choice to go towards your um just take control of the situation. For some of you, I feel like this person was egotistic and um, controlling too. Yeah, I think that this this person um, also for some of you, I think that this person do feel like you guys belong together. Hmm. Let's get one more though, just to clarify. Please clarify for two of cups, emperor. <laughs> yeah the devil popped out that's this person or oh, that's you yeah, look your energy <laughs> capricorn energy yeah i think this person thinks that you guys belong together but i see you guys making a choice to take control of your life and choose you first though too That's what's up. Yeah, I think that you guys kind of balance the situation out by walking away. And kind of just blocking this person, standing your ground in the situation. Like this person may have came back to try to work things out, but you guys are like, no. So I feel like this person now is still waiting. I feel like this person thinks that eventually you would change your mind and come back. But for most of you, you guys like this chapter is closed. It's over. It's done. But this person feels like it's not. Let's see what this uh, seven of cups is. I'm, I'm thinking looking at this is they may be confused or delusional about the situation like they look at it as in it was bad but not as bad and you're looking at it like no I'm, I'm going to figure out I'm going to check out other options for myself mainly this could be just options is in as in which route you want to go in life business wise let's see what this seven of cups is though seven of cups for Capricorn Capricorn, Seven of Cups. Okay. Let's see what Emperor is. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. See, Emperor is Emperor. You guys may be a good pair. Like, when you guys are together, you guys may be bonded a lot. Like, matching counterparts. Like, you had a good connection. It just, for some reason, it just went bad. But yeah, I feel like that this is you take making that option and choice to go to just toward to to go towards yourself, to like work on yourself, build yourself, nurture yourself, take care of yourself. Choosing you first, basically. That's what I was feeling. Maybe you've been working hard on like some type of creative endeavor, something that you want to do on the business front. I'll get one more to clarify, though. But that's what I was kind of feeling with this uh, seven of cups, seven of cups in empress. For Capricorn, please. Wow. Yeah. Ten of Cups going towards your happiness. And then you also got the Page of Cups. That's just offering yourself a new beginning. This person may send you a message to apologize again. It's more like um, they're going to come back again to say I'm sorry. I have a feeling this person does kind of like whatever it was, they do kind of regret it. But I feel like that that's like you have completely closed that door world card. Like for some of you, there is no coming back. 
I think you guys are just offering more towards yourself too. That's you. This this offer could be just you just moving forward with uh, bettering your own emotions, making yourself happy. Empress energy, because you are this empress. Now, if this is, or if you are a male or a male, um, then it could be emperor. And then this emperor here could be um, someone else you were dealing with. I feel like this person does look at you as their, their soulmate, like the two of cups, like that you guys were meant to be together. Hmm. I think that it was some type of conflict, maybe between uh, a few people you may have had with this card. And now you're just like completely guarded. Uh, and you, you kind of like walked away from this whole situation. Let's clarify though. Capricorn, five of swords. Capricorn, five of swords. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person may be kind of flighty. Was flighty in the past or just may yeah, have found out about just a whole bunch of things they were doing. You may have found out about a third party situation. You're moving towards that. And this person wants to heal that because I have the three of cups, the three of pentacles. Then I had a six of swords, like mentally you, you've completely moved away from this. Like you've healed that in a star card. You, you've healed um, that maybe uh, <clears throat> you did think a lot about it in the past. Nine of swords, but now you just um you've kind of healing from that if not if it is kind of like on your brain this is saying that uh soon it will be healed just a second let me get some coffee and this could also be like a creative endeavor that you guys like you guys are in a planning stage with the knight of wands in reverse Something that you right now you're just planning for, especially with the three of pentacles, something that you feel like will bring you a lot of joy. And right now you're just planning, but you're, you're moving towards like this could be something that you've been hoping or wishing to do. And you're moving f towards um, starting it. But right now I feel like with it in reverse is it's kind of like just the planning stage. At first, you may be have been because since it's uh, clarifying the five of swords, at first, you may have been conflicted about which way you wanted to go about it in the past. Like, should I go this way or that way? But I think you guys um, realize I think you're very protective over this creative endeavor. If this is one like you realize you guys finally figured out which way you want to go with something. Maybe you have multiple um ideas that you wanted to start or multiple things because see this is yeah and you guys may be collaborating with someone since the three of uh, pentacles three of cups like you're maybe collaborating with it could be you and a couple other people especially with both the uh the threes right here the star card here if this is like some type of adventure once you got the planning stage and take action um it seems like something that's going to work out really well for you mm -hmm. let's look at some outcomes capricorn is going to be playing huh? mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like you guys are more focused on some type of um, going down some type of maybe uh, creative avenue. It's been seeing that a lot about people uh, going towards businesses and stuff like that. With that star card there, I feel like this is something that you wished maybe hope for and you are moving towards that. Let's look at some outcomes for the second half of June. Capricorn. Outcome. For the second half of June. 
Capricorn outcome for the second half of June. Let's see. Outcome for Capricorn for the second half of June. <laughs> Eight of Wands. I'm looking at this Eight of Wands as um, as far as your, something that you guys are working on or just in life, just moving forward quickly too and i feel like uh for you that those of you who who are working on something that you're kind of protective and like keeping to yourself for right now i feel like um you guys will move uh once you get started it will move like a little bit quick uh quickly for you like get off the ground quick is what i'm getting and it may offer you some type of emotional fulfillment is what i'm getting let's see Look at more outcome for Capricorn. Anything else? Five of Swords. Yeah, that's you. Um, maybe if you did have other people that you were in conflict with, maybe some of them will try to contact you again. But I feel like you're just moving away from this. It's like even in this card, the swords are down like uh, any truths or uh, lies or something. Excuse me. Any lies or dishonesty or lack of communication you may have experienced in the past conflict. You, you're kind of like the wolves just walking away from it and you're just protecting what you like, what you got going on with, especially with that fire, just protecting yourself and um, like what you're going towards. Well, that one tried to flip over. Oh, here we go. The lover's card. And the world card. I feel like that is in regards to that relationship. That that is that cycle is over and completed. Now, even if you guys are um, dealing with someone, it could be just saying that maybe that cycle or like that deception or that part that part of that relationship where that was kind of bad and toxic is over especially if you guys are like living together this could be just saying that um it's like a new cycle that part is closed maybe you guys communicated about all the conflicts you had in the past and are moving forward and um it could it could also go that way too moving forward in a positive direction is what i'm getting And this could also symbolize that the, if any of you are starting businesses, like any conflicts you have or like bad th thoughts or just like, you know, anything like certain parts of the business you're trying to work out that they will. You will finally make a choice on that so you can move forward with that business, get out the planning stage and start moving more towards the action part. Some of you, this person um, that you may have dealt with in the past, or if it is a relationship, this person wants to uh, take that. If this is a relationship, this person wants to take it to another level as far as commitment. For some of you, um, just you being moving forward, being committed to that relationship. We could clarify, though. Let's see. That's clarified as five of swords. Five of swords for Capricorn. <laughs> the emperor. That's what I'm getting about, especially about the business. Like just taking control and getting out of that, like any conflict in e internals. I was going to say eternal. <laughs> internal conflicts you had, just taking control of that. and Or any, it could be about like the relationship or any uh, conflicts you may have had um, as far as your business, you guys are going to take control of that and move forward is what I'm getting. Eight of Wands. Yeah. Let's see what, um, let's see what's completed and then we'll, we'll say that's it. Capricorn World Card. Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're, you're completing this cycle that you maybe were in conflict or something like that. But if this hasn't happened by the end of June, you guys will be more in the action stage or just moving forward. 
I feel like this person too does feel like you you make them very happy but I think you guys are making a choice to close out any negative cycles any negative people you had in the past any negative thought thought patterns and just going towards your happiness is what I'm getting a lot okay Capricorn thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe bye